end of that was our conclusion. We have over time. I would like Benoit to come forward. He would like to say something to us since we're gathered together. Please listen. All right. We've been talking about, uh, you know, we had Elijah talk about a battle. All right, guys, we talked about a battle. Amen. Who's the battle against? Satan. Satan, Satan you sure? It's, it's not your wife? <laughs> How about your husband? Is that the battle? Is that who you're fighting? How about your kids? Sometimes, right? You feel like it. But it's not. It's not. It's not against our brothers and sisters, our, our, our husband or our wife or our children. Or It's not the government. For me, people ask me all the time, what's your greatest challenge in India? Is it the government? No, it's not the government. Who can tell me? Who, what do you think is the greatest challenge for me in India or for all of us? Maybe? Who's that? What's the greatest challenge? For me, it's my old man. My old habits. You know, it, our battle is not against the world forces that we physically see with our eyes. It's our own self. Every day. Every day, getting up and doing the simple stuff God tells us to do, right? The simple stuff. Christianity is pretty simple. Read your Bible. You want to get fueled? You know, fueled up, charged up? We charge our phones. We are diligent about that. Amen. You know? We won't let it go under 20% sometimes. I don't know. What, <laughs> or 3%. You know, I've got to charge this. Got to get it up there. Need to use it. How much more our spiritual, our inner man needs to be charged to battle our old man every single day. Put to death the old man. Raise up that new creation who is in the image of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a battle. we got to be fed from God's word every single day. Jesus has done the greatest. He's the, won the battle. He is resurrected. He's ascended to the throne. He has made propitiation for the sins of mankind. Hebrews chapter 9 says that. The blood of goats and calves and all that stuff. The physical blood. I can't do anything. The spiritual blood sprinkled in heaven has cleansed mankind forever. Woo! And he's kicked Satan out. He cleansed heaven and kicked Satan out as he... As Revelation chapter 12 talks about, Satan is kicked out. Jesus is on the throne, and guess where we are? Who can tell me, where are you, Christian? With them, that's right. We are seated. Ephesians 2, 6, Colossians 3, 1 says that we are seated with them. We are in the presence of the mighty King of Kings, the star the star breather, the planet maker, he's got your back and he says, step forward in faith as David did. And as Noah did, and as Abraham did, and these men of faith did step forward in turbulent times with so little. They didn't have the Bible. They had oppression after oppression. They didn't have words of encouragement. They had nothing. We have so much. We are blessed. You talk about Onesimus and Philemon and, uh, you know, Aristarchus. And uh, who's the other one? Tychicus. There, Tychicus. These guys, they did so much. The backbone. They carried those parchments across Asia, Asia Minor, Colossae, and Ephesus, and everywhere. Risk their lives taking that message forward. So can we, guys. Yeah. Today is a great day. I appreciate the, the, you know, all, everyone who has participated in putting this together and the hard work. Thank you, Mo family, for the, your great encouragement. Thank you. And the, the short time that we, we were here, we were encouraged. By the messages, I pray that you keep on going. Help others to set their mind on things above. And we do, in Christ, have the victory. Amen. The battle is not against each other. Right. See, we need to focus on the real enemy. Satan wants to discourage us. He wants us to put the white flag. Surrender. We surrender. We're going to hunker in the bunker. 
right? But God wants us to continue to step forward in faith, preaching His Word, getting the truth out to the multitudes who are searching. There's a remnant out there searching for truth. Let's persevere. Thank you. Thank you for, um, for the fellowship. Amen.